What's up though? What's up though? What's up though? Good morning, Grand Rising. I'm on my way to work this morning and I just want to speak on what I just saw because I know it's a lot of women just like me. So I took my son to the bus and he got on the bus and the bus driver was a black woman driving the bus. And there were three Afghanistan women with the scarves on their head in submission. They were dropping their kids off. They walked to the bus stop. They walked their kids to the bus stop. The kids got on the bus and all three of them were waving goodbye to their kids. The black lady drove on off on the bus and I drove behind her on, work, on my way to work. So both of the two black women, we on our way to work. And the three Afghanistan women who in submission, they on their way back home to sit around the house all day and to be housewives all day, okay? So it just, you know, gave me just the thought that, you know, black women are struggling, okay? We are struggling and we are working hard, baby. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the option to kiss our kids and to send them off to school and to go to the house and be housewives and cook and clean all day and to be in submission to our husbands we don't even have that opportunity if we even had that opportunity i think we would take it but we don't even have that opportunity we have no choice but to work black women are carrying the load all by themselves and i think it's a topic that is going without notice because black women get so much hate in the world it's so many people against black women talking down on black women and then the other side is people talking about oh well you know get money from men you know charging men but i think that what's going without notice is that it's a lot of good women black women who are working mothers who are carrying the load by themselves. It's a lot of black women who don't have no man, no father figure, no financial support from a man out here. We're taking care of children and households by ourselves. And that is promoting to the decline of our black culture is that black women are doing the job all by ourselves. We are doing the financial, we're doing the physical, the emo the emotional, we're doing everything by ourselves. We're on our way to work to make a living. We don't even have the ability or the option to sit around the house all day and to take care of the house and to be moms. We don't even have that option. The only thing we can do is everything. We have to do everything. You know, we have to come out here. We have to earn the money. We have to take care of the kids. We gotta, we gotta buy the bacon. We gotta fry the bacon. We gotta, we gotta do it all by ourselves. And I'm speaking on it right now because for me, it is so unfair what has happened to black women. It is so unfair that our black men are not being there to take care of their children. Now, I'm on my way to work, and when I tell you traffic is bumper to bumper, okay? It's bumper to bumper. And this is, you know, if you want to take this as complaining, be my guest. But for me right now, I'm speaking fact. And the fact is that black women have it very hard and black women are struggling. And it's not just myself, it's black women all over the world. I can speak for cousins, sisters, aunties. I know several black women that are in the same boat as me. You know, I look around me, I see lots of men on the road. I see, you know, I see a lot of people that are commuting with me, but but black women, we're having to do the job of everybody. We don't, you know, we don't have the husbands in the household. We don't have the man figure in the household to help us. We don't have any help. We don't have no help. I don't have any help. So if I don't come out here and do it 
it ain't gonna get done and for me that is so unfair because guess what it trickles down to the children that's why my children and our children are in the situation they're in i don't have time to help you with homework i don't have time to cook you a home cooked meal i'm not able to do all this stuff every day because i'm so tired from working from having to do everything else i'm not like that afghanistan woman you feel me she come way from afghanistan and guess what she's having a better life than me someone who was born here do you understand what i'm saying it is just so unfair because she gets to sit around the house all day she gets to cook for her kids cook for her man she gets to do all that okay but me i have no choice but to come out here wake up go get the money go do everything I don't have a husband. I don't have the support of a of a man in my life. I don't have the support of a husband in my life. And there are a lot of black women like me. And I just want to hit on the subject that black women are struggling and we have to do everything by ourselves. And for me, it is a topic that is has gone unnoticed. I don't see nobody on here talking about the real deal of what's going on with black women. So look, y'all, I just got on Expressway. And when I tell you it's bumper to bumper, y'all it's bumper to bumper this is what i'm dealing with this is 7 54 in the morning it's bumper to bumper so y'all i'm not gonna be able to stay on this video i'm gonna have to get off this video so that i can be safe y'all and i will see you later okay bye be sure to comment and like the video let me know how you feel about this subject but y'all i gotta be safe okay see you next time bye